There's a great visual cue in Up in the Air that I, I think perfectly establishes the whole world and, and lifestyle and, and almost like mindset of the main character, Ryan Bigham played by George Clooney, where it's like in the first third of the movie, he's he's in a store getting some clothes. He's on the phone with his sister because there's a whole kind of subplot about uh, the sister is planning a big wedding and, and things like that, and they're talking back and forth, whatever. He's getting his clothes. He leaves the store, the camera pans, and of course, it's not a real store. It's it's an airport store, so he's I think it's JFK Airport that he's in. So it, it you know, kind of pans away, and we see the huge airport where... I mean, it's it's just almost like surreal. Like obviously, this character does not live in the real world, and he's very much happy about that. Uh, times are great for him. He works for this company uh, that that fire, fires people, basically, and kind of the the intent or belief behind that is that there's so many bosses for so many companies that are just too chicken shit to fire their own employees so that's where he comes in he kind of gives the little severance package he gives kind of further details he gives a little inspiration here and there and, and breaks some hard bad news to people uh, and, and you know he he narrates the film and he kind of explains how it works and we see this really good scene be between him and uh zach galifianakis actually in a smaller role um that kind of shows how his whole spiel works. Um, so in between that, really, he's going all over the country doing his thing, uh, collecting air miles. He's on planes. Like, I forget the statistic, the statistic that he gives, but uh, uh, for, for most of his life, he's up in the air. He's on airplanes, American Airlines, uh, great airline, um, and uh, in hotel rooms, things like that. Uh, and in his spare time, basically, he's... Uh, sort of, he's he's kind of a amateur, inspirational speech uh, giver kind of guy, where he does like these little uh, sort of meetings where he's talking about his lifestyle and and his beliefs. Like, imagine your life is all in a backpack and things like that. So his philosophy is to carry as, as little baggage with you as possible, only the essentials. So that's how he lives his life, and you would think kind of down the road and it's like the his motivational speaking kind of thing is like the perfect kind of next step for him he's even like thinking about writing a book um where if finally he kind of transitions out of his role in uh his job firing people guess what if he becomes like a big hit with these things he can travel around the world giving his speeches so pretty pretty good plan that uh, he he kind of has established and, and things are going uh well for for years and years and years he dreads going home and he's found a a, a nice little uh semi girlfriend who's no strings attached uh, basically like him, like, it's Vera Farmiga who he kind of meets, and, and they both kind of get off on, like, rewards miles and uh, all the little uh, uh, loyalty programs that they're a part of, and basically she, she describes herself as, I'm, I'm you with a vagina, so there's that, so things are going pretty great, but guess what? His way of life is threatened by this, this hot shot, this new young kid played by Anna Kendrick, who pretty much says to this business like you know the internet exists right you can you don't have to travel all over the world and spend all this money you can just go on a like a well i guess skype didn't exist at the time but go on this thing and tell them they're fired then and, and that'll work just fine um so he's like completely almost like freaking out in in the cool george clooney kind of way uh that this is a big threat to his his complete existence and he's not ready for it um, so he's very adamant about not doing this and making a very convincing argument why they shouldn't. So there's great scenes there where they're kind of conflicting. Uh, but then the boss, played by Jason Bateman, who's great, by the way, he's like, he's almost like channeling sort of like a Steven Root kind of character. Um, he has like the the three-day beard and the suspenders and whatever. Um but, okay, take Anna Kendrick out on the road, show her how it's done in, like, the old-fashioned way, and that'll be pretty fun, whatever. Uh, so, basically, that's what the whole movie is about. And the thing is, there is, like, there is conflict first between the two of them uh, on their trip. Like, they're very different people with very different mindsets. But it's not necessarily, oh, the, the wise, old-fashioned type of person teaches the, the young, you know, uh, anal-retentive, uh, technology-dependent uh, kid how to really live life it's not quite that and at the same same time it isn't like the the big-hearted young 
little girl uh, teaches a, a kind of jaded uh, man not to to finally like l- learn to to love and <laughs> shit like that. Uh, but at the same time, it kind of is. But the thing is, there that's what, what's really good about this movie. There isn't like one kind of mindset. They're both kind of teaching each other things, which I really like. Um, and, and, and kind of like the best part of this movie, I would say. It, 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 you just don't know quite where it's going, which it, it's so it, that's such a pleasant kind of thing in movies, like especially when we're we're at such a time where we've seen it all, we've seen these stories. So where the movie finally drive to, drives towards, where we see this kind of relationship building, and we see their experiences, and we see where it finally kind of brings them, we we get an idea in in our head where the movie's going to go and what lesson is going to be learned from the George Clooney character and where we may find uh, the Anna Kendrick character as well. So, like, it sets up uh, almost like a false ending uh, for the movie, which I love, but then it completely does, like, a a turnaround and and we're, like, thinking, oh, shit, what's going on here? So I love that. I think that's one of the best things about the movie. Um, This was nominated for Best Picture uh, for 2009. This was among... This was the time when they first brought in the whole... We can nominate 10 movies now. So there are a a lot of different nominees here. So a lot of different competition. This is the year the Hurt Locker won. I'd say this is a better movie than Hurt Locker. Maybe even better than than Avatar. Though I do like Avatar. Um, uh, So I, I do think in a lot of ways it was stronger than some of the other movies that uh, were were talked about. This one kind of almost got lost in the shuffle a little bit because I hadn't seen it in such a long time, but I completely forgot how fucking good it was. Uh, I would say, even though I love Juno, I love Thank You for Smoking, uh, and I love uh, Young Adult, but that's kind of underrated too. Um, I would say this is uh, Jason Reitman's best movie, and he was nominated for Best Director for this uh, but maybe the best is yet to come from him. But it is also among one of George Clooney's best performances, too. Like, he, he, we get exactly kind of what we would expect from a George Clooney type of role. Like, basically, my philosophy or my uh, belief has always been that uh, if you, like, throw George Clooney in a nice three-piece suit or whatever and then just, like, push him onto a film set, he'll deliver a good George Clooney-like performance, which he does here. But he he hits different notes of, of a character who's kind of lost, kind of vulnerable, doesn't quite... Well, he thinks he knows what he wants out of life, but then he begins to question that. And I think it hits pretty profound notes uh, from that. Also, in, in, in kind of the... Uh, element of well this was based on a novel and i haven't read it but kind of the the bullet points would be the same but uh, because of the timing of it um this came out and they worked in elements of you know the the complete uh crash the recession of uh, the late 2000s so they worked that in so i think it like hits more profound notes because of that and the timing really hit really right um so I think this is a great movie. I really do. And and I do think it's among George Clooney's best performances. I think it's among uh, Vera Farmiga's best performances. And this was a revelation of Anna Kendrick. Like, really, I didn't know who she was, you know, before this movie came out. And, and yes, it is uh, among Jason Reitman's very best. I would say, so far, it's his best movie. Uh, so, if, if you haven't seen it in a while, uh, do yourself a favor, check it out. Um, and if you haven't seen it at all, please do yourself a favor and check it out. Um, it's a great, great movie. I love it seal of approval (laughs) so that's my review of up in the air uh comment rate subscribe all that good stuff visit derek237.com and until next time i'll see you later